we're over in Eastwood near South End on Sea and we've just finished putting up this 12 foot by 8 foot apex shed uh, it's a reasonably standard shed, the two, uh, two additions on this one, it's got double doors and it's been given the optional top coat treatment. The top coat treatment is an oil or spirit based treatment that's heavy and waxes. It doesn't just sit on the surface, it penetrates into it. Uh, without this then the client would have to give the shed to something waterproof uh, once it's up. Uh, you can see David's in the process of just finishing off. Uh, he's just, uh, just nailing up the battens that hold the glass in. Say hello to the people, David. Hello. Yeah, keep an eye on what you're doing. And two seconds with that one, mate. The uh, the buttons that we use on these ones here, the, he's already put in, these ones are got a double rebate on, but you can see this one's got a rebate that runs up the length of it. The idea is with that, is that that sits in there like that. Uh, it can't pinch the glass. And in order for the rain to get into the shed, it's got to go in the rebate that way, it's got to go that way, and it's got to come out that way again to get inside the shed. And then along the bottom here, we've, uh, you can see that that's, the glass is just sitting on there, and David's going to chuck some CT1 uh, sealant along the bottom of that now. Here's the client. Say hello. Hello there. <laughs> You're going to end up on YouTube. Lovely shed. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. That's what I want right. To say. So uh, yeah, so if I run you run you through the shed, the cladding on this is the standard 12 millimeter. That's X 16 millimeter before it goes into a, a six cutter. It comes out at the end of the six cutter as TGV, and the finish thickness is 12 millimeter thick. So that refers to how thick. The timber is there so it's a true 12 millimeter finish you can see the doors are they're all legend braced i'll do the other one the down the bottom here we've got tower bolt there and we've got another tower bolt there at the top the doors open out that gives us uh, a 52 inch opening on the uh, on the door you can see the doors are all legend and braced uh the standard single door is 30 inches the standard double door is 52 inches uh, we can do a 60 inch did I say 30 inches it's standard single door is 30 standard double door is 52 we can do a 60 inch double door but that reduces the stability on the end there if we go inside you can see up the top here you've got a ridge beam that's running right the way through the middle of the shed that's a 4 by 2 ridge beam that negates the, the need of putting uh, trusses through the roof so it gives the, the shed a much area sort of feel and then coming down onto the floor that's 18 millimeter exterior grey plywood on the floor so there's not a lot of chance of going through that floor it's uh, it's very very tough now I'm gonna go down I'm gonna go down here you can see at the end there there's a 35 millimeter sorry 32 millimeter air gap that runs the full length of that shed so it ensures that the uh the floor is adequately ventilated the, all our sheds have got an air gap underneath them unless we're using the eco base which naturally aerates it anyway so the framework on the shed is two and a half inches in that direction that way it's an inch and a half in that direction uh, that equates to 63 millimetres there and 38 millimetres there. It's a C16 graded timber, it's structurally graded and it's a dry graded timber. So yeah, it's a good quality framework on it and you can see that there's one upright roughly every two foot. So there's plenty of strength in the building. The cladding, I don't think I did the, the grade. The grade's a, a grade five Scandinavian redwood. Uh, we use redwood basically, it takes treatment a lot better than white wood does uh let's shoot that one up there shoot that one down there yeah it, it takes uh treatment a lot better than white wood treat uh white wood timber does white wood has sort of like a, a waxy finish to it and also redwood is less prone to movement you just about see at the bottom there now david's put the ct1 along there up on the roof we've got the normal two kilogram per square meter green mineral felt on our roofs what we do you can't see it because it's underneath here yeah underneath that bit there but what we do is we round over put a nine millimeter round on the edge of the roof uh that relieves the stress point at the edge 
The felt, as I say, it's two kilogram per square meter green mineral, and it's a polyester base, so it's less uh, prone to ripping than the uh, the fiber based felt is. So there you go. That's that. That's a standard, well, pretty much standard, uh, 12 foot by 8 foot apex roof garden shed.